everybody. Welcome to um, what is the 435 Politics Show, but it is really uh, just me making a little comment about this upcoming election, how important it is, how important it is in my area, uh, which is the Minnesota 8th Congressional District, which goes from Canada to the North Branch, from Duluth to Bemidji, uh, and all roads in between. A huge area, one of the biggest congressional districts around. And I just want to make a push uh, for Joe Radinovich as the next congressman coming out of the Minnesota 8th Congressional District. Uh, Joe, I, I've known Joe for quite a few years now when he ran for uh, Minnesota House. I had his Minnesota House shirt. Um, I'm not, I wasn't even from uh, Aiken and uh, Crow Wing County, but I wanted to make sure I got his shirt because he is so relatable and so amazing. The Joe Radinovich guy, um, they're like, hey, who's that Radinovich guy running? Can I vote for him? And now you got the opportunity. You got the opportunity to vote for Joe Radinovich. Uh, for Congress. And this is not uh, a paid ad. This is not a speech that I wrote. I'm speaking from the heart to you guys. I will tell you straight up that I am uh, the outreach officer for the American Indian um, group out of the DFL, uh, which I'm honored and privileged to have that role. I'm also on the board for the DFL um, for the outreach and inclusion which I think is super important because we need to outreach. But here's the more important thing when you're talking about outreach. Listen very carefully to this because this is the most important thing when it comes down to elections. You want to make sure that your elected officials are going to listen to you. Joe Radinovich will listen to you. Joe Radinovich will answer your phone calls. So you're not going to all the time because guess what? Congress is kind of busy. But he will answer your phone calls. He will call you back. He will write you a letter. He will make sure correspondence happens. And I'm hoping, fingers crossed, Joe, this one's just for you, man. Hire the good people. Uh, you know, because we've had some congressmen that haven't. Um, just saying. So I'm supporting Joe Radinovich. And one reason I'm supporting Joe so much, and I want to do this video, and yes, I'm going to have more videos and more endorsements, quote, quote, I did the air quotes, you can't even see, but I'm supporting Joe for this super important reason, because Pete Sauber, as a politician, is Trump Jr., if you don't like Donald Trump, don't vote for Trump Jr., that's just how it is, Joe Radinovich is his own man, he is the man. Joe Radinovich is so awesome. I can't see. Like I said, this is not written, folks, at all. I am speaking from the heart on this one. Joe, he's the guy. That's, that's plain and simple. I don't want Trump Jr. Skip Sandman is also running, folks. Guess what? Skip Sandman, last time he ran, 4% of the vote. He ain't going to get any better than that this time. It just ain't happening. Skip, I like Skip. Heck, Pete Stauber, human being, not that bad. Cop, good guy, whatever. As a politician, he's Trump Jr. Skip Sandman as a politician, I don't even know because he can't get elected. So who are you going to have as your next congressman? Are you going to have Trump Jr. and all of the Donald Trump stuff? Or are you going to have the real man's man, Joe Radinovich? I will, I'm picking Joe. I want you guys to go with me and pick Joe in November. That's what I want you to do. We're seven days away, folks, seven days from the most important election uh, to face us in quite a long time. Next year, I'll come back and I'll say next year's the most important election. Because guess what? We need to change the way the game is played here in, in my city in Duluth. In 2020, I'm going to say, hey, it's the most important election, but right now, today, we need to flip Congress. We need to cause that blue wave. We've already got this seat. Rick Nolan is our congressman, and I want to personally thank Rick for everything he's done for the last six years 
I appreciate it wholeheartedly. Rick Nolan, he, he's just an amazing guy. And I want to personally thank Rick Nolan for that, being our congressman. I don't think that we have thanked him enough. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I want to thank Rick Nolan. But the future is Joe Radinovich. Your children's future, I want that in the hands of Joe Radinovich. That's what I want. And I can say his name all, all day long, and again, it's not an ad. It's me speaking from the heart because I think the world of Joe. I do. I think he's an amazing guy. He's got he's got this uh, wonderful family going on. Um, you know, the Radinoviches, I heard, there's a lot of them in Crosby, Minnesota. You know, it, it is what it is. Carly Moline is his other half. I think she's amazing, too. She was great in the House of Representatives, and I'm glad those two are together. I wish them a happy life. But I wish them a happy life as Joe Radinovich is our congressman, because that's what I want to see. And again, folks, I can't stress this enough. you got to get out to vote. you got to vote for the important people. And Joe Radinovich should be your number one vote. I know, hey, there's a governor's race. I'm going to be talking about that in the next podcast. There's other races all over the place. But the 8th Congressional District, this election, this vote, this is the one that matters. This is the one that counts. Please do that. Get out the vote. Joe Radinovich, guys. He's the man. Vote for him. Thank you all so very much. I appreciate you guys every single day checking out uh, all of my stuff, all my shows. I haven't done one in a little while, and hey, people are, are coming back. So I'm going to probably do some more stuff. But politics is my game. It's my jam. Joe Radinovich is a man. I, I don't know how much more I can tell you guys. Vote for Joe Radinovich. Please. Please, I'm begging you guys. I, I don't think I could do that enough. Is to beg you guys on Tuesday, vote for Joe Radinovich. If you don't live in the 8th Congressional District, first of all, Duluth is beautiful. Call your friends who live in the 8th Congressional District and tell them to vote for Joe Radinovich. I went on for almost 8 minutes in this podcast thing telling you guys how great Joe Radinovich is. I could go on forever, but I'm not going to because you guys need to make your phone calls. You need to call people, tell people Joe Radinovich is the man. So you guys have a great rest of your day. We'll catch you here real soon on this podcast known as The Scott Show. I am just pleased as punch that you guys want to listen to this. Vote for Joe Radinovich. That's how important it is. You guys have a great day. We'll catch you here real soon.